Now notice, in order to draw the eyebrows, and here, let me get the background bitmap back. By the way, I also want to move this command down here. So I'm going to type out background bitmap, and notice I hit it by where it says visible. I clicked it from yes to no. So I make it visible. See, there's Luigi. Now I've got his eyebrows. I want to do his mustache. So I am going to select layer three on my patriotic cheesecake. Sorry, the layer tool bar. Uh, and I check down here, so it's going to be an etch line. And by the way, you'll notice I'm making an etch line even though I told you I was going to hatch his mustache. There's a reason for that. And the reason why is the best looking hatches actually have an etch line surrounding them. It really makes the etch sort of pop out and say, hello, look at me. I am awesome. Now, the other thing is on our etch line here, I'm just going to keep it on the inside of my cut line because I still want to see it. And as I get really close, now you see what happened there? It sort of jumped and finished that line. I don't want to do that. Um, I want to make it come out a little bit further. However, my line is already curved, and if I do an undo, the whole thing goes away. And I don't want to do that. So I do a redo. Instead, I'm going to edit the line. So for that, you want to use edit points. Notice it was already selected. There I get my edit point. So I can actually now drag this up a little bit higher. And there it matches the mustache a little bit better. So I'm going to go back out. I did not intend to do that. I'm going to move this off to the side. OK. I want to hatch this so that it will be frosted when I'm done. But I also want to get rid of these uh, edit points. I don't need those anymore. So if you hover, you'll see there's a little two icons of a mouse. Where it's blackened is a left click, and that's for edit points on. Where it's black under points off, that means right click. So if I right click, the edit points are turned off. Now, I'm going to hide the background bitmap again. And so I want to hide the background bitmap because I want to show you the hatching effect. Okay. So I've got eyebrows I want to hatch, and I've got a mustache I want to hatch. They are already etch lines. I want to leave them as etch lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, holding shift down, all of my eyebrows and mustache. Now I'm going to select the default layer. So for best hatching, you want to use default. And we're just going to type hatch. H-A-T is all you really need to get there. And I want to point out what happens with hatch. You've got grid, grid 60, which is more of a, you can see little triangles. Hatch 1, hatch 2. Now they're kind of hard to see. And the reason why is we have a pattern scale of 1. What if we had a pattern scale of 0.2 or even 0.1? See the kinds of hatches that you can do. And there's a grid 60, hatch 1, hatch 2, hatch 3, hatch dash plus solid. Now, I use solid when I do my hatch. Click OK. There we go. Now I deselect, and you can see the outline is still blue. In fact, if I hide layer one by clicking on the light bulb, you will see that the, I still have my etch lines. And that's the best way to do it. So from here on out, th those were all the areas I wanted to hatch, except for maybe his eye pupils. Everything else I want to etch. So I select that layer three over here. And all remaining lines I'm going to do are on layer three. Okay, I'm working on the L here, and every now and then I see this weird thing happen where it kind of forces my uh, cursor to go to a certain place. And let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, you see how it does that? Um, and I don't want it to. If that's the case, I just zoom in further. Okay, just making a point there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this curve here. Notice I had to do it in a couple different steps to get that little line going there. All right, hit enter when I'm done. You see how they're in different lines here? I need to edit the points. Right click to get rid of them. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, look what I did. I cut, I used a cut line for the circle and the L. What if I don't want to have it a cut line? What am I going to do? 
Let's stop all the presses. Here's what you're going to do if you accidentally use the wrong layer uh, for your line. Okay, now if I were to do this, it would end up cutting out the L and that would go away and my design would just have a big hole there. Okay, now it's not a bad idea to cut out an L. That could look really cool if that was a hole. However, we can't cut this, these lines out and cut the L out or we lose the L. So the first thing, I'm going to join those together. When you've got multiple lines and they're not connected, they're touching so it would work. But if I need to move that around or I just want to be careful not to accidentally mess it up, I want to, I'm going to join these. So I select all of them with shift and I click on this little two puzzle piece here. And then as long as it says it's joined into one closed curve, I'll know that's good. Now, this is just going to be an etch line, but I accidentally put it on layer one. So for now, what I have to do is I have to change the properties of that particular closed curve. So I choose object properties. And now notice if it's selected, it shows what layer it's on. So all I have to do now is change it from layer one to layer three. And I can close that and now that's blue. So at this point, I've showed you how to do this. Just as a reminder, red, or in other words, layer one is for cutting. Layer three, right here, is the blue. That's for etching lines. And then uh, default, the black layer, is when you do a hatch. So if I wanted to hatch that out, I would have to actually select a line Make sure I'm on default layer, and then just type out hatch. And there it's hatched. All right, so I brought you back to an image I want to show you. And in this image, it has everything I just mentioned. You will note on this piece of acrylic, there are pieces that got cut out. That was done with the layer one red lines, OK? Um, it's hard to see little lines in here. Actually, this doesn't have the etch, but you see uh, this horse, the Pegasus. You see all that that's white? That was done with a hatch. Okay, so hatch yeah, it makes it look kind of white. And then um, just a simple line. And here, our lovely little mouse with the little snowflake on his head has etch lines. So these etch lines were done using layer three, like this part of the year, and the little snowflake, and the smiley whiskers, or whiskers over here, and the smiley, whatever you call that, part of his face, his mouth, whatever. All right, but you can see where they're just lines. That's done with an etch. It doesn't cut all the way through. It just sort of etches a line. It becomes a white line. Uh, as opposed to the hatch. So again, uh, if we look at Rhino, we can see the black part will actually turn white. It'll actually look white when it's done. And the blue lines will just be little white lines. And then anything red gets cut out. And the absolute last thing I want to do is show you how I can get measurements on this to make sure it fits within my guidelines. Um, and that would be using dimension. Dimension, linear dimension. Click on the highest part of your graphic. Click on the lowest part. It doesn't matter that it's a little bit to the right. It's actually because it's a linear dimension, it's just only the height. And the same thing for the width, linear dimension. I click on the leftmost part, which is that fingertip there, rightmost part, which is there, and then I move it down. So it's three by, it's almost three by 2.4. And so, yeah, you can see I've extended a little bit beyond um, the requirements I was doing. And if you're my student and you did that, I'd be fine with that. I just don't want it to be like four by three uh, and, and just really huge. Or I don't want you to accidentally do it in millimeters. So at this point, you know, once you have it, then you're good. And so there you go. I hope uh, you have fun. I hope you get a chance to do some laser cutting. It's pretty cool.